This is a Michael Bay movie. Ambulance stars Jake Gyllenhaal, Yaha abdul Mati, Eliza Gonzalez, and is directed by Michael Bay. Actually, Garrett Dillahunt's in this too. I have to give him a mention. What's up, guys? I literally just got out of Ambulance. This movie is, I think it's like two, at least two and a half hours long, maybe close to, close to three hours. I'll have to look at the runtime, okay? Um, I said in the intro, this is a Michael Bay movie. When I saw the, the trailer for this, I could tell this, yeah, this looks like Michael Bay. Uh, when I go into a Michael Bay movie and cards on the table, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm 50-50 with Michael Bay. I love movies like The Rock, which he does mention a couple of his own movies in this, which is kind of weird. Uh, Armageddon is really fun. Uh, and then some of them are stinkers, you know? But one thing they all have in common is they have that uh, Michael Bay direction, just action everywhere, explosions everywhere, crazy camera movements. This might have some of the craziest camera movements of the bunch, and that's not a bad thing. So let's dive into a quick plot synopsis. Jake Gyllenhaal, Yaha Abdul-Mateen, they are brothers in this movie. Yes, they are brothers. Different strokes it takes, different strokes. They play Danny and Cam. <laughs> I couldn't resist. <laughs> and of course, a couple of the characters do mention, like, you guys are brothers? Okay. Their father was this big, like, crime boss, and Jake Gyllenhaal plays Danny. He's kind of picking up the family business. He's robbed like a million banks. But his brother Will didn't want to have anything to do with that. He's a, a military veteran. He was served in Afghanistan. And so he's just got a family. And, uh, you know, the beginning of the movie, he's trying to just basically take care of some like medical bills. Sometimes life can just really kick you in the nuts. And it sucks when you got a, a wife and a kid and it feels like you just can't get ahead. So he's that character. So of course he goes to his brother for help. He just wants you know, a loan from his brother. His brother's like, hey, you help me rob this bank and you'll get more than a loan, you'll be rich. And so yeah, that's your story. Uh, and so the beginning of this movie is a really frantic bank robbery. And then the rest of the movie is a really frantic ambulance chase with you know a shitload of cop cars coming after them very much reminiscent of like the O.J. Simpson trial. If you've seen that video footage, the uh, the Bronco. Well, this, in this case, it's not a Bronco, it's an ambulance. And you got two convicts in there. This paramedic in the ambulance, uh, Cam, played by Eliza Gonzalez. I really liked this character quite a bit, actually. And when I saw the trailer for this, she looked like, you know, your normal Michael Bay bombshell, but there's definitely some substance here with this character. She, you know, is a no bones about it. She wants to just get the job done. She's like one of the best paramedics. She's like a machine. She doesn't try to get too emotional when it comes to the, uh, the patients, but she's stuck in this ambulance with these guys. This really reminded me of like a mix of heat because of the bank robbery and then uh, speed very much like speed because in speed you got the bus he's on the freeway i believe they're in la in that movie too which by the way la is a character in and of itself in this movie i love when you have action movies set in la there's just something about it it adds to the cinematography it adds to the locations and you get all of that in this movie also i have to mention garrett dillahunt i've always championed this guy he uh was that crazy dad in Last House on the Left, the remake. But everything he's in, he adds a little something extra to the part. You know, he, he he's always memorable. He plays a police captain and he's in charge of the whole operation. He wants to capture uh, Will and Danny and he wants everybody to be safe. But there's a patient in that ambulance too and I won't go into any spoilers uh, as to who that patient is. It adds another element of danger to the plot. Now, one thing I did really enjoy about this movie is that it's nice to have uh, an adrenaline rush because it seems like a lot of the movies that have come out lately, they're either like horror movies, um, uh, dramas. Yeah, there's some superhero movies out there, but this is just a good old fashioned, very little CGI, just cars being thrown against other cars, explosions, uh, you know, a freeway chase pretty much for like two hours. And uh, that's, that's fun. You need a good adrenaline rush every now and then. And Michael Bay, you know, if anything, he promises and he delivers on that front. Uh, there's some really fun moments throughout. And I think Michael Bay dialogue, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But I think when you throw it in the middle 
of very frantic uh, adrenaline rush type situations, then it can be really fun because it keeps you on your toes along the way. And I will say my favorite scene in this movie actually is in the ambulance, there's literally a surgery going on performed by uh, Cam, who is not a doctor. It's ridiculous and it's hilarious, but it's fun and it's awesome. Also, Jake Gyllenhaal and Yahab Abdul Mateen, they add some nice star power to this because really this is geared around them for most of the movie. And they bicker with each other back and forth as brothers. Jake Gyllenhaal's really giving it his all. Really the big thing is you can sense that everybody seems to be having a good time when they're making this movie. You know, there's uh, a lot of energy. And Michael Bay's direction, it's Michael Bay's direction. You know, the camera movements are crazy. You could tell that he was really having a lot of fun with this particular rig where the, the camera's just like flying across the, the street. He almost uses it too much and it becomes a little bit repetitive. It's like the action is the center, like the nucleus, and Michael Bay's camera movements are constantly going around the action, through the action, above, below, just... You know, never keeping the camera still. And like I said, it does become a little bit repetitive after a while. I guess that is a good transition into the cons because you kind of are middle of the road with Michael Bay. It, it gets a little bit too frantic. But the biggest thing too is this movie is really long and I definitely felt it in the last act. I think he could have tightened this movie up to a good clean two hours pretty easily. Uh, I think the last act isn't the best part of the movie. You know, like, it feels like this movie has, like, two last acts. And you only needed, really, like, one of them. You do have some generic villains, generic criminals that uh, occupy the last act of the movie. And they're just very superficial. You know, they're one-dimensional. And so there's a lot of characters like this in the movie. Uh, some of the comedy doesn't land, for sure. It's, it's not comedy that you're going to be surprised by at all. Every Michael Bay movie always has certain types of characters. It's like he has like a checklist. I need to have this type of character, this type of character, this type of character. There's always that one character that, that they keep popping back to. And he's always like in one location. And he's usually picking up the phone and he's talking to one of the main characters. And he's kind of your comic relief. There's a guy like that in this movie. And it almost feels like... This wasn't in the script. Michael Bay kind of threw some lines at the guy or had him just kind of go off the cuff. And sometimes that can work, but sometimes you can just tell that it's just ad-libbed in the moment. And it's not really that funny. It's not like a labored over joke, I guess you could say. But you know, you're here for the action. You're here for the adrenaline rush. This movie, I, I definitely give it like a high humdrum, okay? It, it's uh, not the best Michael Bay movie, but I do like, I do like that they're shining a light on first responders and paramedics and they get some really nice moments in this movie and i saw this at a press screening but they also let first responders watch this movie for free and that was really cool because you could tell that they were enjoying it and they were really getting into it it was nice to really i guess shine a light on you know them as heroes because they are heroes so anyway, uh, let me know your thoughts on Ambulance when you get a chance to see it. Looking forward to seeing your opinions on this movie, this Michael Bay movie. Uh, also be sure to come over to Killer Flicks where we talk horror all day and every day. On Fridays, we do Food for Fridays. Follow me at Drum Dums on all my socials. Support me on Patreon. Buy me a coffee. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Drum Dum out.